Hello Taurus, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star. So this is your reading for the month of May 2021 and this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also uh, Taurus, uh, if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading, I would request you to hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Okay, I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified. Why am I saying? Uh, yeah, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. And if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading, then hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Okay, so uh, let me explain you the structure of this reading. So what I'm going to do for this reading over here on YouTube, I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent your energy Taurus. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Okay. Thereafter, uh... I'm going to pull out some cards from another deck and they will be the general messages. They will be the non-love messages for you and your person. Later on, I'm going to pull some uh, oracle cards and they will be the messages from the higher powers, okay, from the universe. At the end, I'll pull out some love notes and we'll see what this person was thinking and feeling about you. Okay, so before I start, I would also like to inform you that uh, if you uh, find yourself getting resonated with this reading, Please check out the extended link which has been provided in the description box below and it will lead you to the extended reading on Vimeo. Okay. The prices for the same has also been mentioned over there in the description box or in the comments section. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, also uh, note that uh, the structure of the extended reading has been already provided in the description box in the trailer of the uh, of this extended reading you can check that out uh, the trailer on Vimeo uh, just to quickly reiterate this extended reading is divided into two parts part A and part B uh, part A is everything about your person where we are going to deep dive as to what your person thinks and feels about this connection what action they intend to take and part b is everything about you which is going to be an advisory section like what is your advice when it comes to this connection what is your advice when it comes to this uh if you want to move on for your life in general for your finances career etc okay so it's a very systematically structured reading right okay make sure you follow me uh at both the places on vimeo and as well as on um uh, youtube channel right all right so taurus let's get started now let's start with your reading we have hanged man two of cups judgment okay this is for you for your person we have page of cups six of pentacles and six of uh, wands okay then we have mutual energy is the chariot okay and seven of oh, sorry five of swords so number six is of some importance over here you may be dealing with uh, if I have to talk about some uh, zodiac signs you may be dealing with Sagittarius with the Pisces Cancer, uh, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is standing out very strong. Aries, Leo, Sag is standing out strong. Mm, 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 mm. Also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I'm hearing Capricorn. Okay, all right, let's not remain fixed on the signs. If the sign pops up, all the better. So, Hangman, Two of Cups, and the Judgment. Huh. So yes, that uh, this these cards are describing your existing situation very rightly, right? Uh, the hangman represents uh, a pause, pause in a situation, like waiting, uh, standing still and thinking a pause. It's not standing, like, you know, this this man is upside down, right? So it's like you're trying to take a different perspective. But if you have to take a different perspective, you cannot have chaos in your life. You cannot have chaos in your uh, headspace. Okay, you need to give uh, uh, a pause to the other things in your life, and then you can take a different perspective, right? Uh, and also, 
it's it's not necessary that you have to take a pause when you're trying to take a different perspective but the uh, other meaning of hangman is also trying to take a pause in the existing situation right so your separation is a pause okay your separation is a pause and you're trying to take like you know you're trying to analyze uh, what is the kind of potential in the situation okay the kind of potential potential is definitely two of cups potential is definitely two of cups you know that but you also know for the fact that you have to put efforts in the situation your person will have to put efforts in the situation and even if your person is going to put uh, their efforts in the situation it's not they are not going to be perfect from day one okay it is likely that they will commit mistakes you will have to show patience you will have to help them out in their journey right so it's a it's a give and take it is it is a uh, it is going to be a situation where you will have to show a lot of patience where you where you will have to show a lot of understanding okay it may happen that they may get tired they may stop for some time okay like they may stop their evolution sometime they may stop uh, you know uh, they they may feel exhausted okay so also priorities change at times so so it's a work it is going to be a continuous work and it's not going to be easy okay so uh, i also feel that you are also thinking that <clears throat> is it is this a scenario in any other relationship or this is something that is unique only to you okay uh, is every uh, relationship does every relationship need some work uh, on that or it is only the love, love relationships and especially this relationship in my life is going to need some work okay so you're trying to analyze you are uh, you're trying to analyze because what i see is that there is an inclination taurus there is an inclination to go back to this person or i mean you are not going to make any kind of initiative but if this person comes back to you taurus <clears throat> i see that if you find that they are coming or at least their intentions are right they are honest and sincere this time around i think so you would be willing to give them a chance okay that's what i see there there the willingness to give the chance to this connection to give a second chance to this connection is very high okay with the judgment i feel that the day is not very far off okay this person coming towards you i don't see that uh, it's 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 very far okay uh, any time this person can land up uh, at your place or they may get in touch with you over a over a text message or over a call okay i see that subconsciously you are manifesting this person back okay taurus you are manifesting this person back subconsciously you want them back there is lot of love in the situation the two of cups is the center card right so there is lot of love in the situation you are consciously subconsciously manifesting them back and now whatever you are manifesting is getting fulfilled okay whatever you want to happen in this connection it is getting fulfilled okay your wish your wish is going to get granted let's see uh let's see what what's the case at your person's end page of cups six of pentacles and six of wands hmm so they want to come towards you but they are practicing what all they want to say like this person may be standing in front of a mirror and they are practicing like what they want to say uh like what with what kind of an offer they intend to come towards you this person has already started their work that's what i'm feeling taurus okay they have already started working on their shadow aspects if not they if not uh like if they have one if they haven't started their work then they have at least realized that there is some sort of a uh, sort of a work that they need to do okay there is a shadow work that that they really need to do and if they really want this relationship back or if they really want taurus back then they will have to do that okay there is a very strong realization that is what i see i also feel that this person may have informed their friends and the family that they are going to come back to you and they are going to win you back 
okay this person is looking very confident or us they have definitely discussed the situation with their friends and family and they are telling their family that they want to come back to you or they are going to come back uh, they are going to come towards Taurus and they are going to uh, they are they are going to make efforts to rectify this existing situation i feel that they are getting some sort of help okay from their friends and family in this situation they are being supported in this situation we can explore that in the extended reading okay uh but overall i see that uh there is a very strong willingness in this situation to come towards you okay i see that they are very much focused on you taurus this person is very much focused on you mutual energy is chariot and five of swords both of you are willing to forget the past but both of you are tired of uh, waiting in this situation okay more so i feel that taurus uh, there is a very strong willingness on your end as well okay you love this person a lot and i also see that uh mm the willingness to forgive this person is very strong that's what i feel okay because there is a strong presence of uh, emotion okay and this person you are very much heavily inclined uh, inclined in getting this person back to you i don't know why i'm getting i'm feeling like some of you may be uh, practicing law of attraction some of you know how to manifest them uh, manifest them back some of you are doing some love spell or something like that but you you really want to accelerate the situation even they want to come fast towards you like both of you want to accelerate the situation okay right so let's see what are the other cards what are the other cards for you taurus what are the other cards for you taurus what are the other cards for you what are the general messages for you taurus but one thing is for sure that they have informed their friends and family okay that they want to come towards you we have empress two of pentacles knight of wands for your person we have seven of swords king of swords the moon okay so because we have pentacle card next to the uh empress card okay it may be like you are birthing some ideas it may be like you are uh, something has happened secretly and now the results have started showing up okay like you may ha you may be working uh, uh regarding you may be working for a business or if you are in a job right now uh you may be doing something once you come back home in the evening time and you are working towards your business you have started something doing on your own okay and this project was started very secretly and the results of the same have started showing up okay if uh, otherwise i see that literally uh, some of you may be pregnant okay some of you are already pregnant and this person may or may not know this is you are carrying this person's child you're carrying this person child this person may or may not know that you are pregnant okay i am feeling uh, there is a very strong feeling over your stars that someone wants to make you pregnant very strong feeling over your very very strong feeling that someone wants to make you pregnant taurus okay or either you want to become pregnant from this person I don't know it it may be vice versa okay but I feel that someone either someone wants to make you pregnant or you want to become pregnant and the urge to have a baby is very strong over here urge to become a mother is very strong over here okay and uh, if that's not the case right now it may happen in next couple of months like you know that urge will increase all of a sudden and your life is going to change i also see that your life is changing by 360 degree there is some sort of a new environment that you are entering into which is going to be very enthusiastic you're going to feel very enthusiastic very happy very energetic 
As far as your person is concerned, we have Seven of Swords, King of Swords and the Moon. Huh, this person is hiding some secrets from you, okay? And they are thinking if they should come uh, with those secrets or not. If they open up with those secrets, then it may look like they have betrayed you. So they are a bit skeptical how they intend to, how they want to come towards you. Or they are a bit reluctant to open up these secrets to you. But there is the other part also that is being triggered inside them that they want to be honest with you. Okay, so they want to be honest with you and uh, they want to come towards you and they want to share the secrets but there is the one part of the one side of the brain is trying to tell them that don't don't open up these secrets but otherwise it will look like you are betraying Taurus but the other part of the brain is trying to tell them that no just go ahead and be honest whatever the outcome may be okay so let's see what are the messages what are the messages from higher powers Taurus, what are the messages from higher powers? And we have blossoming abundance, hostilities, community. Okay. Yeah, materialistic abundance, I told you, right? There is some materialistic abundance uh, coming your way, especially with that Empress card. You are doing something, Taurus. You are doing something very secretively and uh, probably now the results have started showing up and now you are feeling that I should show it to the world. Okay, but be careful. There are some people who are keeping tabs on you and these people, they are aware. One of the reasons why do you are doing it secretively is because you know that there are some people in and around you uh, who, who are not your well-wishers. Okay, and these people are waiting uh, to sabotage your happiness, your abundance. So you want to reach a certain level and then uh, you will disclose it to the world. Okay, so when you reach a certain level, it will be definite. It will be very difficult for these people to sabotage whatever you have built up. Okay, so you know that who are these people. And community is, I believe that, yeah, maybe someone from your friend circle maybe someone from your family members okay these uh, hostile people okay whosoever this hostile person is it may be from your friend circle or maybe from your family circle you got to be careful otherwise i see there is an amazing amount of abundance someone is toxic in and around you okay or someone is toxic so let's see What are the messages? What are the messages from universe? You have got time. You have to spend it wisely. You have got time and spend it productively. Okay, you can do multiple things in your life because you're coming across as a very talented and intellectual person. Spend your time wisely and productively. You are destined for greatness on the wings of love. You are destined to do something big. I'm telling you, I'm constantly I'm getting that feeling that there is something big that is happening, especially on your career professional front. Okay, there is a lot of money. There is a lot of abundance, you know, a business at a large scale, at a big scale. Prepare to be astounded and look, you know what, even if you're not thinking about it, my job is to motivate you. It's not just about a tarot card reading, but yes, I also do that. I read the messages. I see, I read the messages, what I see in the cards, okay? But I, I really sense that there is something I need to tell you. I make sure that I tell you in a motivating manner, okay? <clears throat> Prepare to be astounded. There are some surprises coming your way, okay? Uh, be ready for that. It's, you know, one always becomes happy when, when you are being surprised. Most people are trying to survive. You are being asked to live. Don't just get into routine. Don't stuck yourself into routine. You are, you are much more beyond the routine work. You have a lot of creativity. You are meant to do some, something that is abstract. Something that is different. You are meant to do that. Earlier disappointments were just a rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Something great. The great word has appeared two times great stuff okay and greatness trust me okay all right so let's see uh what this person was thinking and feeling about you taurus 
what this person was thinking and feeling about you i'll pull out some of the love notes uh so take how it resonates okay the some of the love notes may look like uh you are thinking about them some of the love notes may look like they are thinking about you right and also if you find yourself uh getting resonated with this reading you can check out the extended uh, reading the link for the same has been provided in the description box and the comment section you can check that out okay if you want you can watch the trailer so I'll just read it out quickly you know me better than I know myself you make me laugh constantly you have passion in all that you do I miss you even when you are in the next room I feel comfortable in your arms you understand me you can read my innermost thoughts you respect my decision it would be great fun to grow old together so this person is already thinking that you are a part of their life you are married to them uh you have taught me what love is all about wow you complete me this person is coming with a strong offer okay if i die tomorrow i would know i found my soulmate in this lifetime you love me like no one else wow i hope this resonates taurus and a very happy may i'm sending you a lot of blessings Okay till then bye namaste bye bye